Hi, I'm Dawn with K-Squared Technologies. In this tech tip, we'll look at three ways to keep text together in a Microsoft Word document. Now, most of the time, we want text to automatically wrap in a document. That is, to move to the next line when it's too long to fit on one line. So, for instance, in this text, if I add additional content, Notice how the text automatically pushes to the next line. Now this feature is called Word Wrap and it's great except when it breaks up text that we want to stay together, such as dates, numbers, phone numbers, phrases like state of the art, formulas, titles, and basically any other text that should remain together on the same line. So let's look at three simple ways to keep text together. Your option for keeping text together in Microsoft Word include non-breaking spaces, non-breaking hyphens, and non-breaking paragraphs and lines. Non-breaking spaces are ways to glue together content or text that we want to keep on the same line. Now the challenge is that sometimes when you don't know what else to do, then the solution could be, well, I'll just come in front of this date, for instance, and hit the Enter key. Now that can create all sorts of problems. First of all, if your text is formatted using styles, then it might not look exactly the same as when we have what we are called soft returns. That's when the text just automatically flows to the next line. And as soon as we start adding other content or making other edits, then this might require that we have to go back to the text to fix it or to remove that hard return. So rather than trying to force a new line, instead we'll put in some non-breaking space. Now this would be a lot easier to see if we also turn on a feature called show hide. This is in the Home tab in the group for Paragraph Features, and it's simply this paragraph mark. Now this will display non-printing characters so that they won't display when the document is printed. By enabling this, then we can see in our document that what we have are what are called soft spaces. That's where we see the dots then between the words. Now first of all, I want to delete this hard return I put in earlier, and instead we'll create these non-breaking spaces. So I'll move to where there's a soft space, delete it, and then on my keyboard press Control Shift spacebar. Now that puts in a symbol or character that looks a lot like the degree symbol. This is your non-breaking space or the glue. Let's repeat that. I'll delete the soft space, control, shift, spacebar. Now notice as well that we still have a soft return at the end of the first line. But this date will stay together, so that's really helpful whether we have dates or names that we want to keep together. I'll do the same thing for this name. Simply delete the soft space between, control, shift, space bar. Now the non-breaking hyphen works very much the same way. So for this phrase, state of the art, we simply have standard hyphens, or sometimes called soft hyphens, and we're going to put in a non-breaking hyphen. So once again, I'll delete those hyphens and replace them with a non-breaking hyphen, control, shift, hyphen and continue for the entire phrase. What we see when the show height is enabled is it, it looks like these hyphens are different, but they will actually display and print the same as a regular hyphen when it comes to the final product. So I'll go ahead just for a moment, once again back to home, and turn off that show height so that you can see that adding the non-breaking hyphens do not impact the appearance of your content. Turn it back on again as we continue with some other ways to control keeping text together. What can we do to create non-breaking paragraphs and lines? Sometimes the challenge is that we might have a longer line or title and we want to break it at a specific place. But if we hit the hard return, as you can see in this first example, once again we can have issues with formatting, especially if a style is associated with it or we have space below the paragraph. So instead, let's move to the place where we want to create that break, right in front of that text. Now for this, rather than Enter, press Shift Enter. So notice with the show hide turned on that we have this character. What you've created is a new line. So it's a line break, but we're still in the same paragraph. A really handy feature. Shift Enter. Another challenge with line breaks and page breaks is when we might have headings that are on one page and the rest of the content is on the other, or when the paragraphs might split between two different pages. So how do we solve it? 
Well, often it tends to be by putting in a page break or hitting the hard return enough time as to push it to the next page. So for instance, hitting the hard return here would push that to the next page. Sometimes we have many, many hard returns. But anytime you do that, unless you really want to have a page break here, now you're creating a problem that you probably have to go back and fix. So you're not being very productive and you're simply creating some editing issues that you have to go back and fix. Instead, here's how we correct this. So I'll backspace to remove that hard return. And my goal here is that I want this heading to be glued to the next paragraph. That is, I want them to flow together. And for those of you familiar with styles, it's actually something you can build into the styles feature as well. For this, we'll simply go into and look at what's available in the paragraph formatting tools. Now there's a couple ways to get to this. One is that I could go to the Home tab and in the Paragraph group, select this Dialog Launcher to move me into the Paragraph dialog box. Or just click into that text and right click and choose Paragraph. I end up in the same place. Now you'll see a dialog box here that you're probably familiar with where you can adjust indents and line spacing and change the look of your paragraphs. But our focus here is on the other tab, Line and Page Breaks. By default, a feature called Widow and Orphan Control is enabled. Now this simply means that a widow or orphan is a single line that's left by itself on the page, or only one line is moved to the next page. With this feature enabled, that means that there will be at least two lines that will move. Now what we're interested in this case is the feature Keep With Next. By simply selecting it, then this heading will then automatically move to the next line. Another option to consider is Keep Lines Together. It's not an option we would use for the selected heading, but it means if you have one or more paragraphs highlighted, the lines within that paragraph will stay together on one page. So you don't want to do it for the entire document, obviously, but it's a great way to tell Word to help you with the flow of your document text. So now I've enabled this Keep With Next feature, and when I choose OK, this heading will now move to the next page automatically so that it stays with that paragraph. When you have the Show High turned on, you'll see that this option was selected by this little square in front. So that tells you that line and page break features were enabled. So with just a few steps, you can create non-breaking spaces, non-breaking hyphens, and manage the flow of your paragraph text. In this case, we're a tech tip. You've seen three simple ways to save time and to keep text together in a Microsoft Word document. How can we help you to be more productive? Please reach out to us for IT services and consulting to support you with Microsoft Technologies. We look forward to working with you. Thanks for watching.